Amazon search query performance report is a massive data source for you as an advertiser. You get to understand how shoppers interact with your category, with your brand, what they're searching for, what they're clicking, what they're buying. But here's a catch. As soon as you download the report, you are faced with a massive spreadsheet with tens of columns, thousands of rows, and no idea how to interact and analyze that report. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to do that very efficiently using Selimate.ai's free SQP tool. Hi, I'm Avinash, co-founder at Selimate.ai. We help brands and agencies scale their PPC operations using analytics and data-driven automations. Today, I'm going to walk you through the search query analyzer that we have built. We will see how you can use your search query performance report in conjunction with your targeting report to identify opportunities that you're currently missing, as well as identify search terms where you are more likely to rank organically as well. I'm going to share my screen and walk you through the process. You can head to Selimate.ai and under free tools, you will see Amazon SQP Analyzer. You will see two files to be uploaded in this screen, search query performance report and targeting report. If you don't know where search query perform performance report is, you can go to Seller Central under brand analytics, you will see search query performance report and targeting report can be downloaded from your advertiser console directly. Before I show you what the analysis does, let me share a structure of SQP report. So this is a typical SQP report. Uh, you can download it at a brand level or at an ASIN level. Either one works fine with the free tool. So you will see the first column is search query, which is essentially the searches from your shoppers. Search query score, score is essentially a misnomer here. It's essentially a rank. Uh, one means better, higher means not as good. You see, volume this is uh, total volume of searches for this it's not specific to your brand only this is overall category search volume you will see total count which is the category impression count and then impression count for your brand uh, brand share percentage is uh, you know the share of impressions which is essentially if you download your brand count with your overall count, it gives you uh, your brand share. Now, this information is very useful because here you get sort of a category threshold that is usually either predicted by third party tools, which may or may not be accurate. But since this data is coming from Amazon, this is the most accurate data for category benchmarks that you can get. So I'll give you an example of uh, how you can look at it. So if you click your, if you, you know, divide your overall category, click count by your impression count, total impression count, you get your category average CTR. And if you down, if you uh, sort of divide your brand clicks by brand impressions, you get your brand CTR. What this means in this specific example is your click through rate for your brand is more than your category average, which is a great thing. Means shoppers are looking at your pictures and are more likely to click on your product and go into the details than your category average. You can do the same sort of analysis at a you know conversion rate level, at a purchase rate level. But the challenge comes because this is you know, these can be thousands of keywords for your brands. Um, you know, these are tens of columns and the data can get overwhelming. So that's why we built the free tool to allow you to do this analysis in a very straightforward and a simple way. I'll go back to the Selimate.ai free tool and I'll show you the example of the analysis right here using the some sample data that we have. So you see four types of analysis being done here. So there is potential high ranking keywords, which these are the keywords where your conversion rates 
are better than your category averages. Um, these are the keywords that you should scale because uh, you are more likely to get organic ranking, better uh, better organic ranking for these keywords, as well as you are likely to get better ACOS as well for these keywords. New targets identified are the terms, the search terms the, in your search query performance report that are not part of your targeting report. And that's why we got you to upload the targeting report as well. So these are the new targets that you should likely expand to and try to scale yourself. Then we also, what we also did was on top of organic report, we identified keywords where you, it looks like that you will likely make a good impact on the shoppers, but you're not spending enough to be present in enough places. And similarly, low impact keywords are the keywords where you're spending a lot of money, but um, you know, the shoppers really are not interacting that well with those um, advertise, advertisements on those particular intents. So mind you, these are this is just a subset of type of things that is possible using SQP, but even just doing this goes a long way in improving your overall performance of the search terms of your campaigns and your brands in general. You will see the full list after you upload it. You can download the Excel. You can see all these reports in detail and then take your action uh, in Advertisement Console or if you're already using Salamate.io, we make it a little bit more easier and you can do it there as well. Once you upload these reports, you will see a use case wise division of your search queries. You can take a look at the full list and you can download the results in an Excel as well. You can go back to your Amazon Advertiser Console and make changes based on the opportunities identified. If you are using Salamate already, then we make it a little bit easier for you to make those changes. Once done, these changes will help you to expand into areas which you are not earlier targeting or even if you are targeting but you are not paying enough attention. That is it for Search Query Analyzer today. Thank you so much for taking the time. Feel free to reach out to us in case of any other queries. I will leave the link in the description. Thank you.